Hi, I'm Maria Feith, and I currently oversee partnership development for California State University for the projects uh, Merlot and Skills Commons, which are open educational um, um, repositories. Skills Commons is a workforce development repository. It's the largest in the world, and uh, this work comes out of the Chancellor's Office for CSU. I met Jen when I was directing a $14 million initiative for the Department of Labor. Um, this particular project spanned five states across eight institutions, um, and its focus was healthcare. Jen was an instructional designer on that particular project, and um, I brought her on um, to oversee the instructional design development for one particular institution. But what happened was that her leadership naturally led her to the place where she was helping to support the rest of the designers across those five states. Not an easy thing to do. Um, so, you know, communication skills and um, in, intuition, outreach, um, accountability, all of those kinds of things really um, are natural strengths for Jen. And so that made her just a, a, a shoe-in for someone who would come in and see the need and start to build tools to help other people um, bring that work to the point where we needed it to be. Like a lot of us in education, Jen's a teacher first, and she understands the teaching learning cycle. Um, she understands the learner. She understands that there's a difference between face-to-face uh, -face delivery of instruction and a delivery of instruction that is uh, at a distance. Um, so after we closed that project down, which, is, which was hugely successful, by the way, and <clears throat> it is considered the number one um, material source in the uh, Skills Commons Workforce Development Repository, there are more downloads of that, there are more downloads of materials coming out of that project than any other project, 250 some odd projects across the nation over a span of about uh, eight years. So that's, oh, I, I have to give Jen a big piece of that credit because that doesn't happen by accident. I brought her on later when I went to work for CSU. I let that, that project closed down and, and CSU picked me up and um, I brought her on as a uh, consultant. And um, we were designing communities that were problem solvers. They would uh, identify something that, would, that needed to be changed in education or supported better or um, uh, needed to be investigated more. And her particular community took on the idea that when an adjunct comes into the classroom, they don't really have the skills to be able to deliver instruction effectively. And as a result, you lose a lot of students and you lose a lot of adjuncts and, and there's not always the kind of support needed for those folks. They're not teachers by training. And so um, this particular community built a, um, a core, an online course uh, that's called Jumpstart for Successful Instruction. And um, she, her role in that development was, was content builder, but also best, best practices in delivery of instruction. She um, had that lens around, is this methodology going to work? And is this really the top of the research material? Do we know that these are best practices? And so um, we, we relied on her, along with a number of other highly trained um, instructional designers. She was, uh, the project has been a success. Um, there's, a, there's a full system in Texas that is using this particular course at this time, and they're developing assessments to go along with it. And we have, uh, we have a lot of excitement going on around that course right now. Jen has presented um, nationally for uh, the Department of Labor and Department of Ed, uh, um, OCTE especially, Office of Career and Technical Ed. Um, and she's also presented at a number of national conferences, and, and I have uh, been a part of those or have watched those, those presentations, and it's, it's, an easy, it's an easy lift for her. She, she knows what she's talking about. She's comfortable in front of a group. She, um, she understands when people aren't connecting, and she can read that in a crowd. Um, I, I'm impressed with her overall, which is why I brought her on to two separate projects. She leads by example, and she's strategic, 
in her support. When she sees that there's a need in um, instructors, when she sees that there's a need for her team, when she sees that her that the leadership has a need, she's the first one to step in. She's loyal. She is. Um, she's willing to give me an objective vantage point. She doesn't. She's not a yes man woman. She um, she tells me what I need to hear, and I always hope to work with Jen on some level uh, for the rest of my career. Thanks for asking. I, I'm I, I'm completely um, convinced that you will be thrilled with Jen.